Depends who you talk to. <laughs> Nephrologists like MDRD, but all of our drug dosing is based on Cocroft Gulf. So you just have to remember it's not good for an AKI. Mm -hmm. Their kidneys are changing too fast, too rapidly. Creatinine clearance does not keep up with those changes to adequately reflect your dosing. And I think something important, I mean, I require my students on rotation to calculate creatinine clearance every day on every patient. Mm -hmm. um, again, because that's how we know how to dose adjust. Sometimes you have to look at the whole picture and trends. So serum creatinine, which is one of the things put into that equation, lags a day or two or three behind from what's actually happening with the patient's kidneys. So if they're improving, their renal function looks to be improving based on their labs, you might still be a day or two behind. So if their kidney function appears to have a serum creatinine that's coming down, returning back to baseline, and they're at one of those cutoff points, do you use the higher dose or the lower dose? I would go the higher dose at that point because you know it's lagging behind and they're improving. But you can say the same for the flip side. If it's trending up, you know their renal function is getting worse. If they're right around the, the gray zone of do you dose adjust or not, I would at that point.